Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to use uh, WMI Explorer and show you a couple of tips and tricks that you may not have known about WMI Explorer. Let's get started. So let's start this by downloading WMI Explorer. We go off to the GitHub repository, click the download on it. We go to our uh, downloads folder. I always like to right click on it, um, and this is true with any download, and make sure that it's unblocked. This just saves me uh, a headache down the road. So I go into the zip file. It's literally a single file. So I copy that file, and I'm going to place this just on my desktop. So now that it's on my desktop, I'm going to bring up WMI Explorer. So just like the blog, what I'm going to end up doing is going off to the operating system. So I click on Connect, and notice it changes the name from period to the actual name. And then I'm going to go to CMV2 and double click it, and it's populated all the classes. Now, this is where one of the first tips that I don't cover enough in the blog is if I go operating system, you'll notice that it filters all the classes, and I can double click the class here, then click the uh, instance, and I can see all the details about it. So I can see things like the uh, caption, uh, time zone all that good stuff from memory, et cetera, on this thing. So why this is really important for uh, Configuration Manager admin is when you have a, um, when Configuration Manager does its hardware inventory, it's reading this details from this uh, uh, WMI class. And if there's a discrepancy between what Configuration Manager has and what the operating system or what you think it has, you have to go look at the operating system and make sure that the, what WMI says it is, is what Configuration Manager says it is. They should always match. If they don't, then what I would say is go look for my other blog on troubleshooting hardware inventory, and you can force Configuration Manager to do a full inventory at that point in time. Now, I promised a couple of tips and tricks in here. Well, the, the second tip that I'm going to tell you about, I did talk about in the blog, is about the launch. And these are tools that you can use to help manage WMI. One, a couple of them are more about permissions, and then you can actually use the native tool for connecting off to uh, a machine. So if I was to do that exact same operating system task, I'd go connect, I'd then go enum classes, And then scroll down to the operating system. Operating system. I double click it. I click on instances. I click on the instance itself. I then filter out all the default uh, attributes properties. And then I can look at this. It's a little harder to read. Now I've used this for years, so I made it look simple. But I can assure you the first couple of times that it's very, you know, hesitant to where are you supposed to go on all this. And then getting out of it um, takes a little while as well. So it's a little bit less nice compared to uh, using WMI Explorer. The other one that's really nice about WMI Explorer is I can actually put in another server or workstation for that matter. And then I can double click on the same class here. And you'll notice that it's collecting the, the same data. And if I still go operating, I'm filtering on the classes. And I can get down to the instance and I can see its details as well. So this is really useful uh, that I can do it from a single spot. A lot more intuitive than trying to use the, the, the native uh, web and test. Now, the third thing that I was going to show you guys was about scripting. So, 
if we go off to scripting, we go off to PowerShell, it's written a PowerShell to get the operating system details for me. I can run this script, and you'll notice it brings up a DOS prompt and runs the script. Or I can copy this script, and I can go PowerShell ISV, ISE, and I can run this script. So what I like about this style of the script that it does is notice that it puts the computer name in and I can actually change this off to the remote computer and I can run it from the remote computer as well. So that's one of the things that's really nice about um, WMI Express or Contemporary Explorer is that it shows you, it creates the script for you. You don't have to uh, um, be a PowerShell expert on that. Hopefully you found this useful. Until next time.